Ever since August 17th of 2020 is when my legs collapsed on me. They're not supporting me like they normally would when you walk up the steps. It's been a lot of strain on my entire upper body. It was just very exciting because I just popped right up. I mean, like, if, just to get out of my chair is such a struggle, and this just popped me right up. You know, I was like. We're just gonna stand. We actually put the person inside the device and strap their legs and their torso in, and the exoskeleton's motor does a lot of that grunt work of getting the patient up to standing and then holding them in standing. No, not, not as tight, no. Okay, still tight, but not. Yeah. The Fraternal Order of Eagles Nebraska chapter had this opportunity through fundraising that they do every year to donate an exoskeleton. Our foundation jumped on board right away. They were said, great, let's do this. How can we help? There's a lot of training that comes with an exoskeleton. And the foundation said, we will absolutely find a donor to cover the cost of the training of your staff. And so the partnership of the two of them made this possible and it was amazing. Anytime someone is weight bearing, it adds a lot of benefit to the rehab process. It can increase muscle tone. It can keep good bone density in your legs. It can help with blood pressure regulation. And then just getting someone more mobile faster. Just to be able to stand and, and walk as best as I can, definitely do that. And anything above that is just a bonus. We're gonna finish our turn. But I have a four-year-old grandson. I would love to be able to, one of these days, you know, walk out of the house and get in my truck and, you know, be able to go and pick him up okay. and I'll take him okay. to Dairy Queen. Let's just stand a little bit. Up tall, let's get a good stretch. We don't know exactly how much he's gonna get back. I know one of his big goals is to be able to drive himself, get, him, get into his truck and be able to drive. Even if we can get him where he can get around his house, get out into his truck, and be able to be more independent and have to rely less on other people or transportation services to let him just live his daily life. That's kind of our, our main goal, is to get him as, as close to independence as possible. Stop. 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 And when I'm there, it, it's, it just, I'm in that frame of mind and it's positive and, and I just really enjoy being in it. It's, I, I always wish the session was longer. It's Have just a great feeling you. and it, it, it just, One, two, three. it's that much closer to walking. I, I really do look forward to my therapy days. We'll probably call that good for today.